In this tutorial, we'll create four stunning text animations right inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get started. First animation is called Word Reveal and Slide Up Animation. Open Premiere Pro, let's type out any sentence using the type tool by pressing T and then adjust the text parameters to your liking. In my case, I'll simply change the font size of the text and align it to the center. After that, go to the effects panel, search for the transform effect, and drag and drop it to the text layer. Also, search for the crop effect as well, and drag and drop it to the text layer. Then, in the effect control panel, move the playhead to the start and set a keyframe for the position. Now here, move the text position downward, then move the playhead 15 to 16 keyframes forward and reset the position value. Then select both keyframes, right click, and in temporal interpolation select ease in, and then again right click and select ease out to make the animation smoother. Expand the velocity curve and move the easing handle like this. Now move the playhead to the start and set an opacity keyframe here and change the value from 100 to 0. Then move the playhead forward in between the position keyframes and reset the opacity value, again easing the keyframes. Select the second keyframe, right click on it, and select Ease Out, and then right click on the first keyframe and select Ease In. Also, introduce Motion Blur by unchecking the Use Composition Shutter Angle, and set the shutter angle to 360. This is already looking pretty good, but to make it even better, let's duplicate the layer by how many words it has. In my case, three times. Then select the top layer except for the first one, and move it forward a few frames, then do the same for the last layer as well. Now I'll select the first text layer, then go to the effect control panel, and here click on the crop effect that I added before on the first layer, and crop it so that only the first word is visible. Then we need to repeat this process for the remaining text, isolating one word per layer. It's technically done, however, if we use the same technique to add more sentences, here's how we could connect them all together seamlessly. Firstly, let's nest the text layers together and then apply another transform effect onto the nested sequence. Then go to the effect control panel and move the playhead to the frame where the last word appears. Then in the transform property, set a keyframe here for the position and opacity. Then move the playhead forward in time and move the text layer upward and change the opacity value from 100 to 0. Also uncheck the use composition shutter angle and set the shutter angle value to 360 for motion blur. Now select both position keyframes, right click, and select Ease In, then right click again, and select Ease Out for smoother animation. Expand the velocity curve and move the easing handle like this. Also ease the opacity keyframes. Now see the final result. First, the text animates word by word and then moves up in the end. Now right click on the first nested sequence and select copy, then right click on the second nested sequence and select paste attributes. In this way we will copy the effects that we used on the first nested sequence. Now move the playhead to the point where the first text disappears. In my case, here I can see the text disappears. Just drag and drop the second text layer here and see the final result. Second animation is called Stretching Text. Begin by selecting the Type tool and adding text. Adjust it to your liking in the properties. Then in the Effects window, search for Transform and add it to the text layer. Then go to the Effect Control panel and move the Time Indicator to the start of the text and under Transform uncheck Uniform Scale. Then create a keyframe for Scale Width by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Set Scale Width to 1 and then move 3 frames forward. Set Scale Width to 130 move another three frames forward and reset the scale back to 100. Uncheck Use Composition's shutter angle and increase it to 3 and 60 to add motion blur to the text. Right click on the last keyframe, select Ease In, then right click on the first keyframe and select Ease Out for smoother animation. And here we have the stretch pop-up effect. You can also save it as a preset for future use. Right click on the transform effect, then select Save Preset, give it a name and click on the OK button. You can find it in the effects panel under Presets. Now add a second text layer, select the type tool, type any text, and adjust it to your liking in the properties. Now in Save Presets in the effects panel, select your preset and drag and drop it on the text. You can see we have applied animation on the second text layer as well. To combine multiple texts, I'll add one more text layer. Now click on the first text layer and in effect controls under the transform effect, place the playhead at the last keyframe. 
then move 35 frames forward and here set a keyframe for scale width, then move 3 frames forward again and change the scale width value to 1, then move 1 frame and change the value to 0. Now do this for the other clips as well, or you can copy and paste the keyframes. Place the playhead at the last keyframe of the first layer and drag and drop the second text layer here. Then place the playhead at the last keyframe of the second layer and drag and drop the third layer here. And continue the same way if you have more layers. Now check the final result. It looks awesome. For the third and fourth 3D text animations, click the I button in the top left corner or check the link in the description below. That's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more amazing video editing tutorials.